All right, YouTube, we're back for Edison Format, round one at Epic Cards and Games. We got Julio slash Mario on the left playing Instant Fusion Zombies, and we got Bob on the right playing uh, Amaryllis Burn. So Julio's also playing uh, Emergency Teleport and Crab on this deck. I don't know if that's... This deck became really popular online last year, so I don't know much about it. So I don't know if that's common to play Emergency Teleport. Maybe it's the tech card from Julio. I don't know. But I see a couple people in the com commented on the on his duel, so I'm guessing online people are more familiar with this deck. So he flips Turtle, and he Rikos. Yeah, you're always gonna lose. That was always probably most likely Ryko or Danny. It's the only thing this deck sets. I wonder if Julio knew what deck Bob was playing. Maybe he didn't know because this was round one. So Bob sometimes plays Light Swarms, plays the other decks. That's why I stopped playing the same deck on my local. Because then people try to pre-play me game one. And I'm like, no, I'm playing a different deck today. <laughs> Alright, so Bob sets sets a monster. Another back row. How's the zombie? I think zombies should have a really good matchup against Amaryllis. Uh-oh. So, Morphing Jar is pretty good here for... I think for both decks. But anyway... What was I going to say about... Yeah, this deck should have a good Amaryllis matchup. Book of Life just gets rid of Amaryllis. So, for like, you got a main deck, DD Crows. I think this is one of Bob's worst matchups. Now, we'll see if Bob can pull it out, maybe with the side deck. So, Charge Mills uh, Hidden Armory. I think that's uh, Ultimate Necro, yeah. So, he milled Necro, Titanium, pretty good mills. Yeah, someone was telling me that Necro and Plague was common in Amaryllis. I don't know. I, I guess I'm so used to seeing my friend Donnell's deck, and he doesn't play Necro or Plague. So, anyway, he summons Lila. Pops. What is that, a Wing Blast or something? Oh, Compulse. Can you not Compulse a token? Gets him double Amaryllis. Wow. He's probably going to bring... Bring them out. <laughs> He's going to bring both of them out. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. He brings out both Amaryllises. I don't think anyone's taking anything, no, so. So we just turtle the defense. This I'm pretty sure this deck plays three Book of Life. This instant fusion deck. Because the goal is to bring back the fusion monster, right? I think. This deck's interesting. I kind of want to try it myself, this Instant Fusion Zombie deck. That card's so good. It's like a better Spirit Reaper. But you just got to get it. You got to bring it back with Book of Life, right? Or I guess Mazook. Right, so he flips the Amaryllis to attack mode. But do you want to attack into these uh, Pyramid Turtles? What the heck? Three Pyramid Turtle? Is that... This is why Caius hurts his deck so much. Okay, so he's going to attack both turtles. Uh, maybe you're better off attacking Goblin there. Oh, he took 800. Yeah, you're better off... You're better off attacking Goblin. Now you just gave him more plays. He probably's got a tuner in hand, either Plague. Does the Instant Fusion Zombie play D.Va? I'm pretty sure they play at least two D.Va. So now you just gave him way more plays. Because now he can just summon Plague, summon Diva, sync with the Goblin, sync with the Mazook. You're better off leaving that turtle, I think. I, I probably would have attacked over the Goblin. Unless you think he doesn't have Plague, but he, he's got Plague. Or Diva in his hand, that's my guess. Yo, he's got Krebons. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he has a Tuner in hand. But Bob is probably just going for the burn game here. He's already taken 64. All right, so let's see what Julio can do. Bob's got three back rows, so it's going to be pretty tough for Julio to get through all these. Also, another thing I want to mention is I do speed up these duels. So sometimes you guys see people, like, shuffling much faster. It's just, yeah. Especially the longer duels, I try to cut it down because I don't want to upload the videos and make them way too long. Because otherwise, it's going to be like 30-minute videos, and I don't want to upload 30-minute videos. So he doesn't summon the Crow Bonds. He just attacks into the Amaryllis, so he takes 800 there. So he attacks over both Amaryllises. But now, can he just flip up the Lila? Has it been two turns on Lila? I think it has. 
Or maybe he's going to activate teleport. Oh, no, he goes for plague. Wing blast. Get rid of the plague. Yep. Hmm, maybe Julio's in trouble. If, because he's already, he's at 48. If, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm surprised he didn't attack over one of the, uh-oh. So he just lost his trap stun, which might have helped him out. Hmm. Because we know he's drawn into Plague. Oh, he set Foolish. Foolish. His own Plague Spreader. Oh, he can make... Uh, what can he make? He's got plays. He can make Brio. He can make Goyo. He can make an 8 because he's got two tokens on the field. Let's see what he decides to do. So, Plague. I wonder what play he's going to go for. If I'm Bob, I'm trying to kill him. I don't want to give him more turns. He's drawn into Plague. Like, how can I... Cause he's at forty eight. You got two. Does he have enough plants for Amaryllis? I I don't know. I'd have to check his grave and see how many plants are in there. But look at this beautiful deck, Bob. I guess he does go for Goyo. Oh, Mark of the Rose. I don't think that changes much. Yeah, so he's trying to do as much damage as possible. Oh, but he had to banish the Amaryllis. Okay, so he's just trying to put a ton of damage on the field. What do you just get Mirror Force right here, though? <laughs> or even a D-Prison on the Goyo hurts. Maybe he was better off... Oh, he had Normal Summoned? Oh, I forgot he had Normal Summoned. Oh, he milled an Amaryllis, too. Wow. Mirror Force! Oh! <laughs> that sucks. Oh, man. Maybe he should have gone for Brio. Oh, no. <laughs> That that sucks. Sometimes you just get waxed by Mirror Force. Happened to me one time. I was playing around D Prison and I got Mirror Force. I was just like, dang. <laughs> it hurt really bad. Alright, let's see what Julio's gonna do. I think I think Unless he's gonna wing blast them again. Oh no, he torrentials right away. Okay, but he's gonna get a goblin search and he takes eight hundred for Amaryllis. This is but he's got Mizuki. He's got one card in hand. Oh, he searched Reaper. Just trying to stall. Oh, he's got Mind Control as well. Yeah, Julio's in a good spot. He's got Mizuki. Plague. I think that Mirror Force... Was just devastating for Bob. Oh, so he's going to top for Plague. Probably get Goblin off of the Mizuki. Yeah. So what does he go for here? Goyo? Oh, yeah, he had a Bottomless. That's not bad. You got rid of Mizuki and Plague? Wait, he searched an Did he search another Reaper? No, Reaper's at one. What? Oh, he topped... He topped decked the Reaper. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, wait, is there two Reaper? Oh, no, he, that's what he top decked. <laughs> I was like, this isn't Tengu format with two Reapers. Oh, and he took 1,000. So, yeah, Julio's at 3,000. So, I think maybe Bob might be able to pull this one out. If that back row's, if he's got a good back row, he might be able to win this game. And then he sets, sets Reaper, most likely. Sangan. I like Sangan in this deck. Go get go search Lone Fire. Or Dandy. You really need to go you really need to see Lone Fire in this deck. Oh, speaking of Lone Fire, I, I didn't know he was gonna draw that. <laughs> That's a really good draw. Her what what? Is he not gonna pop for titanium? Is, are they all gone? Maybe they're all gone. Can you not get Dandy? Oh, he just left the Lone Fire on the field. He must, have, he must have no targets. He must have milled all his targets. So Lone Fire was not a good draw there. And I think he's got no plants because he would have brought back the Amaryllis. So he needs that Sangan. 
And he's a sang to go away. I mean, Torrential's gone for Bob, so what could his other back row be? Okay, so Krebons, Mind Control, the Lone Fire. You're not gonna. Wait, you took the Sangan? Wow. I guess he wants to. Why did he take the Lone Fire? What the heck's going on? Am I missing something? Uh, did you rather leave the Sangan on the field than the Lone Fire? That, that was weird. Okay, so Book of Life. I don't think I don't think I don't think it matters. Bob's in trouble, but we know he searched uh, what he searched debris. So he did have a target for Lone Fire. What? He's got two cards left in deck. Oh, he's gonna deck out. Oh, he's gonna deck out. Can he? Can he beat him? Can he go for Black Rose? Oh, he can. He can go for. Does he have a plan? Yeah, he can go for Black Rose. Put. Put something in attack mode and go for game. This game, if unless if Julio has nothing to stop him, I hope he sees it. But he, he we don't know what his back row is. So he gets Lone Fire. Synchro. I'm surprised he didn't pop that Lone Fire the turn before. Okay, yeah, so he's going for game. Yeah. Please go for game. I love it when people go for game with this with this move. Because Billy Break did it. I forgot one time. Oh, yes, he got him. Ah, oh, yes, that was a good game, man. Oh, that was a weird game. Shout out to Bob for pulling it out, though. All right, so here we go. Game two. Julio's going first. We didn't see Instant Fusion that game. Okay, so he set, set. Did he set MST? I don't like sending MST turn one. Unless the only time I like setting MST turn one is if I'm playing against a Future Fusion deck or Black Wings. Okay, special Cyber Dragon. Summon Lila. Pop. Yeah, see, I don't like sending MST. Lose a random... He didn't attack... Yeah, I, 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 I get it. You don't want to attack into the monsters. He mill well, Amaryllis and Plague. Nice mills. But here, Julio pays a thousand. Tribute for Caius. <laughs> See, this is why you don't attack into his monsters. Because let's say, let's say it was a goblin zombie, you just gave him a search. But now you kind of know that that's a turtle, most likely, or a tomato. So, unfortunately, okay, I, I don't know the attack of that Spirit Reaper monster. Yeah, I don't know the attack. But he gets a card out of his hand, hits a trooper, and then attacks for Caius. See, I think he's being he's being a little too aggressive right there. I wouldn't have it. I would have just attacked with uh, a turtle, not attack him directly with Caius. But here comes Hidden Armory. Wait, Mills Dandy. God, the, Bob's just milling the craziness, man. First milled Plague and Amaryllis. Now you mill Dandy off a of Hidden Armory. So I have a story that so one time I remember one, one of my friends were play, was playing this guy named at, at local. It was it was uh it was like locals and the guy had like no plays. He just was randomly milling for one monster for bulb to bring back bulb and he milled dandelion and then he just came back completely on a duel against one of my friends. I think Bob's got plays. He's got what uh, DDR. So he banished the Amaryllis with. Book of Life, so... Oh, he's going to activate... Uh... So he can't normal summon, I think, as a hidden armory. So he's going to bring... He's going to take control of one of the... One of the zombies. But which one do you take? It, de it depends on the rest of... What else? What other plays do you have? So he chooses Caius. 
But you got Plague, man. I don't know. This is honestly not an easy situation because you got to play around his back row as well. So you, have, you just have to ask yourself, what, what do I think his back rows are? Does he play Dark End Dragon? Okay, so he DDRs, gets, clears his whole hand, gets Dandelion. Two, five, six. He could go for a seven as well. So what, what's he going to make here? Goyo gets two tokens. Okay, bottom says the Goyo. Yeah, three tokens. Uh, see, I don't know. Bob had a lot of options there. He could have, like... Depends on his extra deck, too. I don't know what I would have done. This was like, he had just a lot of options. He had Plague and Grave. He had DDR. But I think the only target for DDR was, um, was Dandelion. So, surprising though, like, I didn't keep track of life this game. I'll do it for game three. Because the issue is I don't know what the attack of that zombie is. Okay, so he just... Oh, he had to he has to hit the Amaryllis out of his hand. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Bob can get out of this. I'm pretty sure he's going to lose this game. Oh, he had Necro. I forgot. But still, he's got so much... Man. He's got the Spear Reaper monster in the field. He's got t t Turtle. He's got Caius. A back row. Yeah, I don't I don't see how Bob gets out of this. Okay, so he gives him the Caius. Let's see what he can draw. Was Lila okay, because so he just bottoms is the Lila. So I guess he's just trying to get him low, but what's life? I can't see from there. He can't bring back Amaryllis? Oh yeah, he can. He can. But this could just be game, right? It looks like he's like a 2,000. Oh, brain control. Yeah, this game. All right. So now we get ready for game three. Can Bob pull it out? I think this is one of his worst matchups. This book of life just instantly gets rid of your Amaryllis. And maybe he sides in Crow as well, so... Yeah, horrible matchup. So here we go, game three. I'm rooting for Bob, but I, I, I don't see how this is like a horrible matchup. It's like GB is another better matchup for this deck, unless if you could drop a Titanium. But even then, okay. So Bob starts off. Oh, foolish! Setting a back row and foolish, foolish dandy. Does he got uh, debris dragon? Or Lone Fire? No, he doesn't have Lone Fire or Debris. Man, that sucks. Oh, heavy. Chain Call. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Call Bottomless. Mm. See, this is why I always tell people to only set one. See, call, setting Call just to, for a Danny line, I don't think was worth it. I would have just set Bottomless. I hate, I hate like just losing cards like that. There's no need to. Uh, maybe if he's going to tribute some in Amaryllis, maybe it was worth it. All right, so he attacked into the thing, and then, so he takes 800. I think he takes 1,000, right? He took 1,000, he attacked into the thing, so it should be 62, 8,000. And then he gets Goblin, brings back Amaryllis. Bob's got two. Yeah, Caius here hurts. I don't think I don't think he's got Caius. Caius just wrecks him. Gets rid of his Amaryllis too. Um, what's he looking at his back row? 
What's the back row? Maybe like a teleport or something? Oh, Vanity's Fiend. Trap stud. Wait, did he have... What did he have? Oh, he had Bottomless and Torrential. So he Torrentials the Vanity's Fiend and then keeps his... Uh... So he takes 800 from that. Oh, he was thinking about trap stunning before. If you're scared of Solemn, nah, I don't think it's worth it. If you, I, I get, I get, it, I get. If you're scared of Solemn, but the only time I like to preemptively flip trap stun is like I'm playing like a GBs or X Sabers. If you're going for Hyunle or Geyseris. All right, so Julio just sets a back row. He's got like four cards. He's got brain. I think he's got brain and mind control. So Zombie Master Plague. So he just hits for eighteen. And what's Plague's attack? Four hundred. I think it's four hundred. So we have fifty four, fifty eight. Is he just gonna leave them up, or is he going to synchro? He's probably gonna synchro, but for what? No, no, he just passes. Because he's probably trying to get him to... He's probably going to try to, like, get this... Brain and mind control. But I think he's going to grab Lila here. He's going to grab Lila and tackle over Plague. Man, Bob's a million dandy. Yeah, that's what... That's what I figured he was going to do. He's got defense, too, for with those tokens. Yeah, so he takes 15 there. So I have him um, 39.58. Mills Burial. Oh, I, I like that he's side decking Burial. Smart move, especially against zombies. Really good side deck. If only Burial was it too. But then by Turbo, zombies would be so much. Though both those decks would be better. I think he showed us his hand. All right. So Oh, Dark Armed. Yeah, when that boy hits the field, it's usually game over. <laughs> Speaking from experience. I've lost so many games. I'm like, oh my god, he had Dark Arm. Whether it's Black Wings, Value Turbo, Diva Hero, Zombies. Every every time that that guy hits the board, it's, it's not good. <laughs> Alright, so he goes Brio. Oh, yeah. Bob. I hope you play Gores, because it's not looking good for you. <laughs> I think that the space in this deck is so tight. I, I I don't think this deck plays Gores. So, pop the Lila, pop a token. And you can like do Zombie Master plays here as well. It's not like he's at 8,000. He could put 8,000 on the board, but he doesn't have to. Oh, he's got brain control as well? Yeah, this is just... This is just game. Unless you have gores. And then Brio bounces that thing back. Attacks. Attacks with Dark Arm for... Should be game. Yeah. So, good match. Oh, he had like Triple Amaryllis Titanium. Oh, yeah, his hand was bad. That's that the deck. That deck sometimes is just going to draw like that. That's one of the weaknesses of that deck. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back for round two. Bye, everyone.